Hello and welcome to the lesson video for sixth grade for Friday, April the 10th. Uh, this is going to continue what we've been working on uh, with finding the area of triangles and trapezoids. And now today we are working on polygons. So this ends up being um, something that I enjoy a lot more than doing trapezoids for some reason. So um, I think this one's a little bit easier because I don't have to worry about adding two different bases together and ending up with weird numbers in the process. So that might be it. So this is going to work for any kind of regular polygon. So it doesn't matter how many sides the polygon has, this will work because all of the regular polygons that we will work with all have sides of the same length and they all have the same angle measurement. So we can make a bunch of triangles that would all end up looking exactly the same and having the same measurements. So all we have to do is use our formula to find the area of one of those triangles, multiply it by the number of sides or the number of triangles that we would end up making. So for instance, if I were to be able to draw straight lines, um, which I can, but I'm not going to pull out the ruler because it takes too long. If I were to connect all of these in a way that they would all be straight lines, all of these would have the same measurement. I do have a ruler tool, but I'm not going to take forever uh, to try to draw that in. Um, trust me, it works. So let's go ahead and do the unlock the problem. So we are working with a base of 20. So go ahead and fill in and work along with me. Um, our height is going to be 14. So our easiest way to do this would probably be to take the half of 20 first, because that would be 10. So 10 times 14 uh, should give us 140 centimeters squared, which I am then going to multiply by 5, because I have five of those triangles. And that would give us 700 centimeters squared. So let's go ahead and take a look at our next one. All right, so uh, we are going to be doing number one, which is going to be this particular shape, and number three, which is going to be this one. So first thing we want to figure out the number of triangles. So the number of triangles are going to be equal to the number of sides because each time that we're counting a side, we are going to be counting a triangle that goes into the middle. Um, in a perfect world, I might ask you to take a ruler and draw those in, but understanding that we are working from home, you may not have access to all of those. So I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different congruent triangles inside the figure because I have eight sides. So let's find the area of one of our triangles. So it's going to be uh, five times six times one half. So of my two options, it would be easier to start with. If I take my six times one half, that would give me three. Three times five gives me 15. So that would be the easier way to do it on this one because of the numbers involved. And I can do 15 times eight. And this part will give me 40. I carry the four, and that would give me 120 centimeters for that. Number three. Now we get it without all of these extra little questions. So I'm still going to ask you the extra questions. I want you to think along with that um, as I go ahead and start writing things down if you need to pause the video so that you can work a little bit ahead and then use this to check your answer. That would also be a good idea. So let's go ahead. I'm going to drop a dot here so I can know that I'm writing. I'm going to count my sides first. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sides. So I'm going to have ten triangles. And I'm just going to draw a little shape for that. So that's just going to kind of keep, keep that in my mind as I go around. So now we're going to find out the uh, area of one of these triangles, and then we're going to use the number of triangles that we can make to figure out our final answer. So we can do 1 half of 12 
times 8. And I don't really have a preference for this one um, because both of these would be easier numbers. So I could do 6 times 8 or I could do 12 times 4, uh, depending on which side I kind of use my mental math uh, trick that I was explaining to you guys for this. So let's say I'll do the 6 part and we'll say that we are doing 6 times 8 to get our area, which is going to give us 48 for one of those uh, triangles, and we have 10 triangles, so we'll take that and multiply it by 10, and that is going to give us 480 millimeters squared for our answer. So now let's go down to the on your own, and we have one problem that we're going to do for that, and then I will uh, have the homework for you. So uh, the homework will be on a separate video that will come out at uh, 6 p.m. on Friday. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, almost messed that up. So we're going to have ten triangles again. So I'm just going to draw myself a little note of that. We are working with more difficult numbers this time. So it would be okay to uh, have to write out uh, some of our multiplication work as we do this. So we're going to have one half of 28 times 43 of my two options it would be easier to reduce this to 14 and so we would have 14 times 42 if I do that I am going to uh, do that over here and that is going to give me 588 and then I'm going to multiply that times 10 which uh, going back to one of my uh, little mental math tricks would be the same thing as putting a zero at the end of this so my answer is going to be 5880 and that would be inches squared. So those are the uh, lesson problems if you have any questions. Um, again, I know it's going to be a Friday. Um, I will be at the computer, so if you have any questions as you're working on this, um, or even if you don't get to this on Friday and are working on it over the weekend, um, I will at least be in uh, to check comments and, and stuff for Google Classroom. So you can always ask me a question if you're if you're stumped on something. Um, but I will have the uh, homework video coming up here in just a few moments, so I will see you in that video as well.